Hi guys, I just wanted to put together a video which shows how I flash pedals <clears throat> because this is probably one of the most often asked questions I get and it seems like people have a real hard time flashing pedals even though in my experience it's pretty easy. <clears throat> um, there's two methods to do it. If you have a newer pedal that already has firmware on it, you can can flash it. Although, I'll be honest, in my limited experience, um, I haven't had good luck with can flashing, so <clears throat> I almost exclusively use the voltage method because it almost always works for me and I haven't had any problems and I've flashed <clears throat> batches of pedals. I flashed a batch of 30 pedals and it only took about, I don't know, five minutes. So uh, this is how I do it and I'll just give you a little rundown on what I have. So I have my really, really old Linux machine. Um, I'm running Linux Mint on it. It's ancient, but Linux doesn't take a lot of resources. So any old laptop you have laying around, uh, load Linux on there. It's free and you'll be good to go. <clears throat> then I'll show you the cable I made. So you need a USB-A to USB-A cable. They will have to have ends like this. Um, what I did is I took two old lightning cables from Apple devices that were broken and I cut them in half and wired them together. So uh, I have a super ghetto setup, but it works just fine. So you can see, cut the two wire ends off. I run ground to ground, red to red, white to white, green to green. So data to data, power to power. <clears throat> and then you can see there right here, I run the hot to a test lead and it's just like jammed in there right now. And then that test lead has a pretty fine point on it and I can use that to connect power to the via on the board so that it goes into DFU mode. <clears throat> then you can see the other end of the cable is just another USB-A connector. So we'll move on to the pedal. This is actually a Honda pedal. I have a batch of these going out tomorrow. So I'll show you where you apply power on the board. Um, I had issues with connections on pedals. So I actually use really nice Molex connectors now that uh, I don't have issues with connections uh, coming loose. <clears throat> but what happens is, um, that covers up the via on the front side of the board. So on the inside of the board um, is where the via usually is. And on this board, it's right here, but you can't see it. But the good news is on all the boards that I make, um, the via is all the way through. So if you flip it over, I'll show you where I apply power. Um, still on the inside of the board, you can see here's the, yeah, definitely on the inside of the board. There is the six connectors for the pedal, and you'll see right here is where the via is. <clears throat> and the way I flash the board, is I take my USB-A connector. One second here, I'm gonna connect it up. So I connect one side of the USB cable to that. And then over here, I have the other USB cable. And what I do is <clears throat> I use the power from this to apply power to that via and then I just plug this into the computer. And you don't need to hold it for any period of time. All that happens is if that via sees five volts as power is applied to the board, and then it boots into DFU mode. And you know this is right um, when you plug it in and the LED doesn't light. That's how you know you're in DFU mode. Uh, so I'm going to uh, go ahead and do this. I can't do it with one hand. So once again, I'm just gonna while I plug in the board into the computer, I'm gonna apply power to that via right there, and then it'll boot into DFU mode. Um, I'll do that now, and I'll come back when the board's in DFU mode. 
All right, we're back. You can see we're plugged into the computer now. Uh, we're plugged into the board, and if I flip it over, you can see there is no LED lit. So that's how I know the board's in DFU mode. And uh, I'm gonna head over to the computer, and we'll show you the commands in Linux you need to flash the panel. It's pretty easy. Okay, we're back, and I apologize for the ghetto setup here. I'm just shooting the screen, but um, you'll get the idea. <clears throat> so the way I do this is I just get clone the comma repo that you need right onto your computer. I don't put it on the Eon, just straight out on the machine. And in this case, I've called that directory Honda Pedal, and you can type ls to see what's in there, and you can see I have another directory in there called Panda. So once you know where your code is, you can just go to that directory. So CD Panda. <clears throat> and then that brings me to that directory. If you list that out, you can see there's um, another directory called board. And then within board, um, you can see there is <laughs> another directory called pedal. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so if you go to pedal, you can see that there's a bunch of make files. So make file, there's an object folder, whatever. This is where you need to be to flash the board. Um, because I'm in Linux, you need the sudo command. So just sudo make recover. Uh, and when you do that, it'll ask you for your password. And then it will flash the board. And you can see it loading there. And I'll take you off my stand. And you'll know you did it right because immediately after uh, you send the command, <clears throat> the LED on the board will light up. You will not need to disconnect power. And that's how you know that you have good firmware on your board. Um, leave comments below if you want me to uh, answer any questions on anything specific, but uh, this is how I do it. Um, it works on Linux and it should work <laughs> almost exactly the same way on Mac, if you guys have a Mac computer as well. Um, it probably won't work as good on Windows because Windows doesn't natively run Linux like Android Linux or Mac OS does. So um, let me know, comments below if this worked for you and hopefully this clarifies some of the issues people are having. All right, take it easy.